So you got a single color 3D printer and you want to be able to print stuff like this? Let's talk about Filablend. How's it going everyone? Jason here with 3D Matter Makers. So a few weeks ago I was on Twitter and I saw someone post a link to a company called Filablend. I guess they had seen them at a convention or something, and it piqued my curiosity because most of my 3D printers are single color, and it would be cool to be able to have multiple colors. So I decided to go over to their website and take a look. So Filablend is doing something a little bit unique. They're actually mixing three different colors of filament into a single strand. So what this does is it gives you the ability to have three different colors print at one time. Now this is not akin to having a multicolor extrusion printer set up where you can actually control where the colors go on your print. This just prints out a multicolor filament all at one time. So how it lays out on your print is really going to be completely random. So what I did is I went to Filablend's site and I ordered a sample pack. Now the sample pack includes three different mixes of filament blends and each little sample comes with 50 grams of filament. It's not a lot of filament, but it gives you the idea of what this stuff is capable of. Now the price for the sample pack was about $15 US plus shipping. And normally they say it takes three to four business days for them to ship it out. But in my case, it actually took uh, a couple of weeks. Now I did get an email from them about a week in saying that they were behind. I guess they had an influx of orders all of a sudden, but it took a couple of weeks for me to get my samples in. But hopefully as they ramp up production, shipping will be a little bit faster. So currently they are selling this for, it looks like about $35 for half a kilo. Um, it's a little bit on the pricey side, but you got to remember what you're getting. You're getting something completely unique as far as a PLA filament is concerned. Now the samples that I received included red, yellow, and blue, purple, blue, and black, and blue, pink, and silver. At least I believe it's silver. So what are the results? Well, the results you saw. They're right here, and I have mixed results on these, and we're going to go through these. So I asked my wife to go onto Thingiverse and pick out something for me to test these on, and of course she came up with some small little vases and dishes that are hearts, and I'll have a link to the thingy file in the description below. So first off, she wanted me to print in the blue, silver, and pink, and I decided to run this. Now, this was interesting. This was my first print with this, and in this particular case, it's mostly silver. Um, I'm not sure why on this one. It's not the shape because I did do some other little test pillars. and But this one just came out mostly silver. If you hold it up in the light, you can see shimmers of blue and pink in there. Um, I know that the, the pink is really hard to see, but the blue seems to come out a little bit more in certain parts under certain lighting conditions. So the next one that I ran off was the red, yellow, and blue. And I've got to say, this one is incredible. This one came out just, I mean, the colors on each side are beautiful, they're shimmery, they just look really, really nice. I'm really impressed with this uh, yellow, blue, and red one. Now lastly, on the sample pack, I had blue, black, and purple. And I ran out the smaller part to that thingy file, which is this miniature heart vase. And you can see it came out pretty nicely. You can definitely see the blue, the black, and the purple all in the print. Now one thing I did note is on the sample packs it did not tell you what the print temperature was on the packs. Now I don't recall if there was a card in there or not, but I would suggest to Philip Len that you actually put the print temp ranges even in the sample packs because I had to go to the website and look that up. And the suggested range on these is anywhere between 200 and 220 degrees. So overall final thoughts on this Philip Len, um, this is really cool. I really like this one especially don't get me wrong i like the others a lot too but this one especially the red the yellow and the blue is just beautiful now according to their website they do have several other colors including uh black blue purple which we saw black white blue blue green white blue pink purple blue red yellow which is my favorite and red purple white now they do have something else called the color lab subscription on their website which they will send you three different samples every month and it's $25 I'm guessing plus shipping also and these will be random so whatever month you will get you know, maybe new blends or whatever but each month you should get three different blends in 
and I'm a little confused on the website because in the initial uh, paragraph on the website it says three 100 gram samples but then when you look down at the specs it says 85 grams each so I don't know if it's 85 grams or 100 grams but either way they do have their their monthly subscription for three different ones um, at $25 a month so that's pretty much all we've got for this week. It was a very short video, but I wanted to catch you up on this new filament from Philip Lynn. I would suggest you order a sample pack of it at the very least and give it a try and see what you think of it. And if you like it, then definitely give them your business and order some more. If y'all like these videos, please make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. And if you want notifications on when the new videos release right away, just hit the little bell icon and you'll get an email or a little pop-up notification whenever we release new videos. Again, I'm Jason, and don't forget, it doesn't matter what you're making, as long as you're making matter. I'll catch y'all next time.